My name's Gary Smith, and I've been running away from home since I was two. Some might think that I'm trying to escape some kind of problem, but I don't think so. Seems to me there might be more to it than that. Something that's simply innate within the soul that makes me want to see what's around the next curve. Motorcyclists call a series of these curves twisties, and many like to see how fast they can go through them. But I like to take them at a speed that keeps me in the groove of my surroundings. I don't want to miss anything. When I left my parents home for the last time, I was 17. I spent a lot of time hitchhiking across the southeastern states. I'd find shelter under overpasses and flop houses and panhandled for coin. Now and then I'd find gigs with musician friends of mine. As an adult, my passions have always been associated with things that move. These included the occupations of horse groom on the thoroughbred horse race circuit in Florida, New York, Massachusetts, and California. Then it was on to being a long haul truck driver and eventually an airline captain. Well, it takes a special mate to live with my itchy feet. Marilyn and I met during my truck driving years. We've been laughing ever since. With over 50 countries in our resumes, neither of us are novices when it comes to traveling, especially roughing it. In April of 2005, at the age of 52, I was diagnosed with epilepsy, thus ending my flying career. Out of work, without a journey on the horizon, I must have been driving Marilyn crazy because she firmly pronounced, I ought to take our motorcycle for a ride. The motorcycle's a Ural. It's manufactured by Emmett's Motors in the Ural Mountains of Russia. Though the history of its production is somewhat sketchy, the Russians have been making an exact copy of the famous World War II German BMW since 1939. Mechanics and style have changed little. We call her Burrow because she's short and carries a big load, just like a donkey. Well, it didn't take any coaxing, asking where I'd go, my response was naturally south. On February 6, 2006, we got a break in the weather and I rolled out of the driveway. Now, I'd never driven any motorcycle more than 150 miles from home before. However, if all went well, we planned on meeting in Zihuatanejo, Mexico, and I was having a blast. Before I knew it, my travels would take me along the Pan American Highway to the tip of South America at Ushaya on Tierra del Fuego. Then up to Prudhoe Bay, Dead Horse, Alaska. Buford Sea in the Arctic. It's a route as far north and south in the world as one can drive. But I wasn't ready to stop. I wanted to complete a circumnavigation of all of America's continents. From Alaska, it was off to Goose Bay, Newfoundland, Labrador, then down to Key West, Florida, the Gulf states, including all of Mexico's coastlines. I'm utilizing the back roads as much as possible, and generally on my own. Any problems that arise, I'll have to deal with them. Most of the filming and all of the editing and production is done by me. The episodes in the Burrow Has Three Wheels series are about smiling, wonderful peoples, terrific landscapes, and especially the music associated with the groove of the road. Just like you are driving it yourself. Hop in the seat of the sidecar. We're going for a short ride of the available episodes. Giving this guy a ride. We're giving him a ride to the rocket sun. And then we're dropping him off. Personas dicen que mi amigo es el Che que va. No, it, no, it's, it's muy grande, no es posible. It's muy grande. After finishing breakfast, the family asked if I wouldn't help the children with their English lessons. I was glad to help, though I'm not sure how much help I really was. How do you say 
Es, es palabra en español. Sí. Once a grandfather, always a grandfather. Tony is very nice. nice. This morning in front of this lady's house, the police stopped me one more time just to have a good look at the borough. Afterwards, she came out, asked me if everything was okay, and then invited me in to have breakfast with her and her family. How could I decline? Driving out of Provenir, I remembered a movie I'd watched years ago. There was a man riding his motorcycle across Tierra del Fuego. Now with the wind blowing and the gravel roads beneath the wheels, I began to feel as if I was part of that movie. What's your specialty here at this restaurant? Oysters! What's the name of this town? South Bend. What's the population of Cowichan? About two Well, we're expanding all the time. I think we're just about 15,000. They're having babies in Cowichan. <laughs> Bit out of town and you're in total wild. Really? Are there wild animals around here? There, we're talking bears right over here. Bears right across the street from the fun center. <laughs> so tomorrow sometime, if everything works good, we'll be up at Dead Horse and then uh, take a little tour of Pluto Bay. What about these motorcycles running up to Pluto Bay? Well, you know, every year there's a lot of wrecks. You know. are, are you a truck driver? For 26 years on this road. It's good that people come up here like yourself, because they're probably the real <coughs> Joe Dick is going to see this movie and understand probably where we're coming from. They're still gold mining down here. What's your husband doing right now? He's diving and uh, dredging up from the bottom now. And are you, do you get anything? Oh yeah. Oh, that's, I see you got some uh, gold in your oh, ears. Yeah. That's something we found. Shh, Tatanka. Tatanka. campsite in Haver, Montana for only 10 bucks. It was at the fairgrounds and a carnival was just packing up. There's one other moto camper with me. Looking at the carnies I'm thinking maybe I ought to just run off with the carnival. Eh, maybe not.